Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. Now this video is a quick follow-up to a video that I released last week. And I'll leave a link to that video below. Now that video explained how we could add these tooltips here, which contain text that has been pulled from the check-in notes for a metric within a scorecard. So all of that's covered in a previous video. However, there was one issue that we had, which was that the metric data set had to be set up on a manual or a schedule, probably refresh. But I've managed to find a solution for that, which means the whole process is completely automated. And I'm going to cover that today. Okay, so let's get started. As a reminder, I'm just going to quickly cover the big picture here and explain what it is we're, we're, we're looking to solve, basically. So we've got our Power BI report, it's got a graph on it, or a, a column chart on it, and the requirement is to be able to add a narrative to particular points of interest, or data points of interest. So on a particular date, we want to be able to explain why the production losses were below or above our threshold value. Now, we've got that set up and that's fine. Then we are going to use a metric which is part of a scorecard to be able to capture that information because you can actually on a metric add check-in notes directly into the Power BI service so you don't need to use any um, other mechanisms for getting notes into the um, into the data set and displayed for each one of these points. Now then what we do is we then take this information here that's been entered into the metric um, and then add it into the metric data set, which is this here, or the scorecard data set. And we connect to that data set and pull that information through a direct connection. So it's an instant update into this Power BI report. Okay. Now, the issue here is that this data set, even though it's connected through to this Power BI report using a direct connection, the data set itself needs to be refreshed. Now the refresh is probably going to be done on a scheduled basis. So basically every so often, every hour or whatever. However, we want this to be seamless. We want to be able to enter the information into the metric and we want to see that information through that direct connection actually appear in this report as quickly as possible. Okay, almost instantly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this scheduled refresh requirement and we're going to create a power automate flow that's going to actually be initiated whenever somebody adds a new check-in note to the underlying metric so there's a actual trigger point in power automate that's going to basically kick off a scheduled refresh or kick off a refresh once somebody updates a metric with new information which is exactly what we want and then at the end of that, we're going to send them a, a wee message to the teams just to basically just to say that that's actually happened. OK, so I'm in Power Automate. I'm going to start off by creating a new flow and we're going to use the automated cloud flow, which is basically automated once a, a certain trigger has been carried out on an event. And we're going to give this a name and then we're going to just skip this bit here because we're going to go and select a trigger once we get into the flow itself. OK, so we're in the flow here and we can search for Power BI. OK, now what we're looking for here is this one here. When someone adds or edits a goal check in. OK, now it's in still in preview mode um, or it's still a preview feature, really. Power BI have changed the reference to goals in the main service to metrics. And I think we're just waiting for this to be followed up within Power Automate. So let's choose that one. And then in the workspace, we're going to go and choose the workspace we've published our scorecard to, which is this one here, KPI metrics. And then within here, we've got this one scorecard, which is losses. And then within the losses scorecard, we've only got one goal or metric, which is going to be this one here, unplanned losses. Now the pooling interval is in seconds. Now we want this to be a lot lower. Now the lowest you can go here is 300. So we're going to put it to 300. And then we are going to go and create the next step. Now the next step is going to be back in Power BI. So we're going to look at this step here for Power BI. And we're going to find the, the actual action to refresh a data set. And here it is here, refresh a data set. Okay, so we'll go and choose the workspace. And it's going to be this one here, KPI metrics. And then we're going to choose a data set, which is losses scorecard. Okay, so 
Now we could just save it there. However, I am going to add another step, which is going to be to send a message to a Teams channel to say that this has been initiated, this refresh has been initiated. So we're going to search for Teams. Okay, and we've got one here, post message in a chat or channel. We're going to post it as, I'm going to post it as the current user. And I'm going to post it in, so it's going to visit a list of either a chat group or a channel. So I'm going to post it into a channel. And then we've got additional options here. So the team is going to be a team I've set up called work. And then the channel within the work team is going to be goal tracking. And then we're going to add a message in here. Now, this can be a custom message. Now, one of the things you notice here is when we click on here, we've got some information related to the, the check-in that was added and the notes. So the check-in status and the note. So we're going to actually embed that note as well. So we can give someone a, a preview of what the actual note is that was added to the metric. So a new note has been added to the unplanned production losses metric. The note text is, and then if we click our space there, we're going to add in the note text. So this is it going to be here, updated goal note text. Now, as soon as we do that, we can see apply to each has been, or this has been wrapped in an apply to each action. Now, the reason for that is if we go back into our metrics, we can see that on any given date, okay, so this one here is the 27th of June, we can have multiple notes. Okay, so that's why we need that, or that's why Powered Automate is actually wrapped this in applies to each, because it's going to basically create a message for each note that's added, if there's multiple notes have been added. So let's open this back up again. And then the subject message, Okay, new the, the subject here is new note added to metric. Now, the frustrating thing is here, we don't actually, we're not able to capture the metric name itself. So even though we've actually entered a metric name in here, we're not able to capture it. So we just need to manually type that in. So that let's just keep it nice and simple. Now, the other final thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a, a link through to the underlying report. I've copied the URL from our report and I'm going to send it as a link here. And I'm going to just basically click it as a, add it in here as a link. So we've got a text here that's going to, or a message here that's going to be posted to a Teams channel just to add a little bit of extra feedback to say that the note's been added, the data fresh has been initiated, and it's now ready for you to go and look at that in that underlying report, that Power BI report that's in the service. So I'll save this, and we're going to go and we're going to test it. So we're going to click test, and we're going to click manual, and then test. So it's now asking us to add some check-ins or add some notes. Okay, so let's go back into our metric. So within Power BI Service, we've gone to metrics and we're going to lost scorecard and we're going to go and add a check-in note to this one here, unplanned losses. We can see there's already eight notes. So let's open this up and here's a date here. So we can see on the 4th of the 4th, there's a a peak here. So we're going to go and add a check in there. I'm going to choose the date and I'm going to go and include a note. So we can see here this flow is still looking for us to update the metric. So let's go and press save on here now. We'll flick back to the flow. Now it should just kick in in a second. Okay, so that's that done automatically. So we've saved the update to the note and we can see that this is actually successfully run. Okay, so when we open up this, when someone adds a check-in or edits a check-in and we can see there's a lot of stuff in here, but the bit that we're interested in here is updated goal notes. And here we can see that was the text that we added in, so it's captured that nicely. It's then gone on to refresh the data set and this is um, a success code here, 202. And then we can see here that it has posted a note. It's quite difficult to see here, but if we click on this show output, it's a, a JSON formatted file that basically gets sent to Teams. But down here, we can see that there is evidence that we've got a note here. So let's see all of this in Power BI and in Teams. So we're back in the Power BI service here. We will need to press this Refresh Visuals button here. But as soon as we refresh it, we can see that this note here has applied. Production loss was due to an unplanned shutdown in the power generation field. So that came straight through into this particular report. Now let's check in Teams and we can see it is here in this channel here, this goal tracking channel. A new note has been added to the unplanned production losses metric, and here's the actual text here. And then here's a link here if we want to go through to the underlying report. 
Okay, so hopefully you can see the benefit in being able to add that little extra step at the end to automatically refresh that scorecard data set. And it means that as soon as you put information in and you check in into a metric, that's going to kick off that flow. It's going to update the data, it's going to refresh the data set, and then that information is going to be available almost instantly in your Power BI report so you can see the latest narrative. So thanks again for watching. If you found this useful, then it's always much appreciated if you could give the video a thumbs up. And if you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, then hit the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I release a new video, which is about once a week. Okay, thanks again, and I'll talk to you in the next video.